Okay, um, before we leave this slide here, let's talk about what some of these other organizations do. So the IEEE, just to give you a little bit more about them, from an OSI model perspective, wired and wireless standards that come out at layer one and layer two of the OSI model, that's pretty much what they specialize in. The IEEE specializes in that. You're not really gonna see any specifications or protocols created by the IEEE that are at the network layer or higher. They're pretty much physical and data link, data link layer specialists. That's what they do. Uh, the ITU stands for the International Telecommunications Union. Um, it's a, a specialized agency for the United Nations uh, for communications tel uh, technologies. Okay? For t so what they do is they basically allocate radio spectrums, uh, satellite orbits, uh, and things such as that. The IETF is the Internet Engineering Task Force. So a lot of the specifications that come out at layer three and above, for example, routing protocols and, and how TCP and IP work, you'll find those in the IETF's website. So if you're looking for some specification that resides at the network layer or higher, start with the IETF. The IANA, the, as you can see here, the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. These are sort of the masters of the universe when it comes to Internet numbers. For example, we haven't really talked much about addresses yet, a little bit, but the IEEE is in charge of Layer 2 addresses, so MAC addresses. The IANA is in charge of Layer 3 addresses, so they are the ones who allocate IP version 4 and IP version 6 addresses throughout the world. So they're sort of the masters of the universe like that. So they do that. Also, a little bit earlier before lunch, I talked about some other reserve numbers. I talked about port numbers, like port 80 was for HTTP and port 23 is for Telnet and stuff like that. Well, guess what? The IANA is in charge of those numbers. So port numbers, protocol numbers, IP addresses, the IANA is in control of all of that. The FCC, um, for those of you who don't live in the United States, that's the Federal Communications uh, Commission. So that's sort of the equivalent of the ITU, but the FCC is here in the United States. So they regulate here in the US frequency spectrum and, and what channels can be used for Wi-Fi and what channels can be used for television and stuff like that. Um, making sure people don't rip off their clothes on television, you know, they assign fines when that kind of thing happens. So that's the FCC. And then lastly, you should also know about the Wi-Fi Alliance. Um, the Wi-Fi Alliance doesn't really create standards, but they take Wi-Fi standards that have been created and they will test vendors' equipment and then they'll put their stamp of approval on it. So for example, uh, a Wi-Fi vendor might submit their Wi-Fi access point or their Wi-Fi NIC cards to the Wi-Fi Alliance. And they'll say, hey, we believe that our Wi-Fi access point does all this stuff, all the stuff that's written in the Wi-Fi standards. And then the Wi-Fi Alliance will run it through a bunch of tests. And because they've got these huge complicated labs that they've got just for that purpose. And if this vendor's equipment really does meet all the criteria for these tests, they'll put, the Wi-Fi Alliance will put their seal of approval on it saying, yes, this is Wi-Fi certified. So that means that this device is going to be able to interoperate very easily with other Wi-Fi certified devices.